Hey, today I want to show you how you can get thousands and thousands of free 3D models and use them in your renders and animations. I am talking about sketchfab.com, which most people probably know of, but I'm not sure if you guys know how to search for free models and how to quickly bring them into Blender using the Sketchfab add-on. The models you find on Sketchfab are not just free, but you can actually find good quality models here. There may be some restrictions and conditions, and we'll talk about the licenses, but I'll try to make it as simple as possible. Yeah, let's get into it. So first, you need to go to sketchfab.com. You can browse the site, you can search for models without an account, but if you want to download any models, then you're going to need an account. So if you don't have one, you can just sign up by pressing this button. So once you have an account, you can log in, and I'm going to log in right away. So Sketchfab also has paid models. We are going to be focusing on the free ones here, uh, but they have paid ones and they just have a sale right now. I'll talk a little bit about paid models at the end of the video. But now if you want to search for uh, free models, you can just go to the search and let's say that you're looking for a cat model. And that will show you all sorts of cat models that you can find on Sketchfab. A lot of these models are not even downloadable or some of them uh, may be paid. To limit the search to the models that you can download, you can just click the downloadable button. And now to only see free models, go to licenses, click here and disable editorial and standard. And I generally disable uh, everything aside from CC BY and CC0. So while we're here, let's talk about licenses. CC0 means public domain. This means that if you download this model, it's yours and you can do anything with it. There are absolutely no restrictions. Now about CC BY and 99% of the models you'll find fall under this license. And if you hover over the license, it will actually tell you the most important things that you need to know. And that is that you must credit the original author of the file. And you can also use this commercially. And by the way, you can also use CC0 um, commercially. And even though it's not in this short info here, you can also change these CC BY models. You can download them and remodel them or retexture them, for example, if you need to. So the next license you can actually also include. Models with these three licenses I would personally use without too much worry. Now the other licenses get a little bit more restrictive. So for example, the next one uh, does not allow you to redistribute the model if you change it in any way. Uh, the, other one, the next one is no commercial use. So if you have any commercial intentions with that model, uh, you may not be able to use this license. And then the next ones just get more and more restrictive. So that's it about licenses. I would generally just search for downloadable models with CC BY and CC0 licenses. And that gives me access to hundreds and hundreds of models. Now I have to say I'm not an expert in licensing. And during this whole section, I'm going to display a little disclaimer and just let you know that you have to do your own research regarding licensing. Okay, enough about licenses. Now let's uh, see how we can download models. So all of these models will be downloadable. And if I just choose one, this one looks really nice because this is uh, Sketchfab. I can check out the model. I can look around. I can display wireframe and all sorts of uh, material previews. And if I like it and want to download it, I can scroll down and just click on download 3D model. And here again, you'll get information about the license. Basically CC attribution is the same as CC BY, which we just talked about. And you can learn more about the license. And then you can download this model as FBX and a couple of different formats. And this is nice. You can certainly do it this way, but I actually never download the models directly from here because there is an add-on for Blender, which allows me to download the models directly with minimal hassle. So the plugin is here on GitHub and I'm going to share the link to it. And you just have to go to releases, click here, scroll down. And here's the zip file that you want to download. Click on it and download it. And then you can go to Blender. So you don't need to unzip this file that you just download it, just keep it as a zip and you can go to edit preferences and go to add-ons and click install. Go to the folder which contains this zip file, 
mine is over here and just highlight it and click install add-on and it should appear here in the interface then you just have to click on the square to enable the add-on and it will be enabled so then you can go to the end tab in here and it should contain the sketchfab tab now here i have a bunch of uh, unrelated add-ons that i have installed and activated but that doesn't matter the tab that you want is the sketchfab tab and then you want to activate the add-on if it's the first time you install it you may have a login screen in here so if i click log out it will show the default login screen so i can log in with my email and password okay this is the exact same password that i used to log in here on the actual uh, sketchfab website once you're logged in you can search for models right here in the Blender interface. So in here in the search, if I search for dog, it will show me dog models. And if I choose one of them, uh, it will show me the license again, Creative Commons Attribution, that is the CC BY license again. And I can click here on Import Model. And after a second, the model will be loaded right inside the Blender interface. And I couldn't ask for a better experience than that. And it's all free. It's amazing. Actually, I could ask for a better experience. Uh, I'll show you another way to import models, which I really like. And then we'll quickly talk about troubleshooting and uh, improving these models that you get from Sketchfab. So here's my preferred way to search and download for models. This search right here in the interface is nice, but the preview um, images are a little bit small, so it's not ideal. What I like to do is, again, go to Sketchfab, and let's say that I like this model and I want to download it, and I know that it's downloadable. So I can just select the whole URL and press Ctrl C to copy it. And I'll go back to Blender and click on Import from URL, and that will kind of change the interface. Now I just need to paste the URL in here and click import model. And here is the important model right here. To make it look like on Sketchfab, I can press this button here. And you'll see that it has textures, but it's kind of semi-transparent. So now that we know how to search for uh, free models and, and how to bring them into Blender, let's talk about some of the common problems and quirks that you'll get with uh, Sketchfab models. Now let's zoom out and I'm going to go to object mode and create a new cube. The default cube in Blender is like two meters. So you can see that this dog here is at least a hundred meters. Let's check actually under items and yeah, it is 118 meters tall. It even has some rotation and it's also in quaternion mode, which I have no idea why. Um, in Blender, objects are always in Euler mode, so I'm going to switch this to XYZ Euler, and you'll see that um, there is unapplied rotation. So the first, so the first thing I will do is press Control A and apply the rotation. Next, I can press S and scale down the dog until it's about, um, let's say, 1.3 meters in height, and then I can press Control A and apply the scale. And notice how the scale went from 0 0.01 to, if I apply the scale again, Control A, apply scale, I'll get a scale of 1, 1, 1, which is exactly what you want. Okay, with the uh, cat model here, we have a bunch of problems. Uh, the size is surprisingly almost okay, but the whole model consists of a couple of objects. And there is this empty here, which acts as the parent for the whole model. So generally, I don't like these uh, empties, but they can be nice when you first get the model. So uh, you can, for example, select this top empty and just scale the model up or down uh, if you need to. You can then maybe switch to the uh, move gizmo and move this model so that it stands on the ground. Let me move this uh, dog out of the way. Once you're happy with the scale and position and orientation of the model, you can select all meshes and press Alt P. And if you just go clear parent, your model will get resized or it may rotate in a weird direction. So press Ctrl Z and press Alt P and choose clear and keep transformation. Then you can just press Ctrl A 
and apply rotation and scale or simply all transforms. Next, um, there are a bunch of empties that I don't want and the easiest way to delete them is to go here to this part of the interface and disable meshes for a second and that will just leave the empties in this case in the scene and then I'll press A and just delete them and then unhide my meshes again. Now let's see what we can do about these uh, transparent objects. If I select one of them and go to the materials, it has one material, so I'll scroll down and here under settings, blending mode is set to alpha blend. Now I think this object and this material doesn't need to be transparent at all. So I can switch this blend mode to opaque and that will fix the whole thing. Uh, so sometimes you may have parts of the object that, that need to be semi-transparent. Oh, I think this needs to be transparent. So I can switch to alpha clip in here and you'll see that uh, I have my transparency, but I also don't have this weird uh, semi-transparent um, problem that I used to have a second ago. You can also try alpha hashed that can give you better transparency and you still don't have the uh, weird transparency problem. Another common problem is if I enable wireframe here, you'll see that the whole mesh is triangulated. And that may be fine, especially for these low poly objects. Um, it may not be a problem, but one way to quickly improve this is to go to edit mode, select all vertices and press Alt J. And that will de-triangulate the model automatically. And Blender really tries to do a good job but sometimes it may not be perfect. So for example, if I undo here, if I did this manually, I'll, I'll probably remove these edges, whereas um, OJ, uh, the automatic method kind of removes other edges. So it may not be perfect. So you can remove some edges manually and then the rest automatically. Um, or if you want to be really precise and you really need to clean up the mesh, then you may need to go one by one and just remove and just remove all triangles. Uh, by the way, the way to remove a triangle is to select the edge that you want to remove and press Ctrl X. Some models on Sketchfab are also rigged and animated uh, and that can present its own set of problems. So let's have a quick example. So if you check the animated setting here, you'll get animated characters. So let's check out this cat. I'm going to select the URL go back to Blender, Sketchfab, paste the URL in here and import model. Okay, the model is here, it's huge. Um, so again, it is um, attached to an empty, which is nice at first. I can just move it out of the way and then the, I'll select this cartoony cat that I had, move it out of the way uh, and then Back to this empty, I'm going to press Alt G to bring it back to the default position. You know, very often when I download an animated model, I actually don't care about the animation uh, or the skeleton. I just want to use the model. So if I set this to the, to the default position, you'll see that it's a very nice default position. So all I want to do is to get rid of this skeleton. If I just delete it, in this case it looks fine, but often your model may jump into a weird position. So I'm going to get the um, empty again, scale down my model to a reasonable size. You should always work in real size in Blender. Uh, it will just save you so much trouble if you're building scenes and so on. So something like this looks good. Um, and I also don't like that um, from the front view I'm seeing the I'm seeing the side of the cat, so I'm going to press R, then Z, and then rotate 90 degrees, and actually hit minus. Okay, and that will give me the cat pointing forward. Okay, then I can select all objects related to this model, and again press Alt P and clear and keep transformation. Then I'm going to press Ctrl A and all transforms to apply all uh, transforms here. And again, I want to switch to Euler. So any object that you have, uh, I would recommend switching to Euler. Um, and then I can just select the armature and delete it. I can go to the vertex properties and delete all groups. 
for all objects and there may be an armature modifier left okay with that the whole model should be fairly clean and you can use it any way you like you can rig it again um, oh again I probably need to uh, hide the meshes here and delete all of these empties So this is how I download models from Sketchfab, how I bring them into Blender and how I actually get them ready for use inside Blender because out of the box they have some quirks but it's not so difficult to fix them, uh, much much easier than you know for example modeling this cat from scratch. Now the free models are great and you could easily build a game or an animation just using free models from Sketchfab or at least they can help immensely in building your scenes but sometimes if you're not finding the right model under the free models um, Sketchfab also has paid ones so here under licenses if you enable standard you should see the store models and you can uh, click on see more and that will present you with all of the paid models and because this is Sketchfab you can just click on any of these products here and you can clearly see what you are getting if you decide to pay for this model um, you know you can rotate it around you can enable the preview settings and show a wireframe this may be a little bit too uh, dense but you know I got the information personally I have yet to buy a model from Sketchfab but the option is there and if I decide to buy a model it's nice that I'll know exactly what I'm buying that's it hope this video has been useful and I hope it helps you in creating cool animations and games.